today um, I am home from work. We don't have anything going on with the kids after, of course, Carson had football practice and then we're home. Matt and Effie are up feeding animals. And so we are gonna get ready for dinner. I didn't lay anything out, I haven't planned. So a lot of times when that happens, we resort to some sort of breakfast food because it's easy. Um, left, last night we had some soup that was in the freezer, so thawed it out, nothing. We've been back to school this week in person. The kids are so excited and having such a good time. And we're just having a hard time getting back in the routine. So a lot of times we're looking for something quick to do for dinner. Cole's ever washing his hands. He wants to help a little bit today. But today we're gonna make one of the kids' absolute favorites. It's called German Pancake. I think it's a recipe my mom got from a friend of hers up in Tennessee one time, a lady named Miss Linda. So we are gonna get ready. It is super duper easy. I'll tell you what you need. You need six eggs. You need a cup of flour, all-purpose flour, one cup of milk, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of melted butter. And that is it, my friends. That's it. Super duper easy. I know you're gonna watch and see this and you're gonna be like, oh, heaven's mercy, this is what we're having for dinner this weekend. All right. So we got our farm fresh eggs. These have actually been washed. I washed them a little bit earlier today. So I like to break them in a small bowl by themselves just to make sure I don't get any eggshells because not perfect for sure. So there's gonna be one. These shells actually go um, in our like scrap bowl, so they'll go up to the chickens. Or the pigs. Or the pigs. Either one. One of the animals. Um, so it goes back into the dirt. We, we never waste anything of our eggs. <laughs> we try not to waste anything. All of our food that we never eat, like that goes bad, it either goes to the chickens or the pigs. We always have a scrap bowl on our counter. All right, so then you're gonna do a cup of all-purpose flour. I've got my thing here. You can use the flat end of a knife or like a pastry um, tool. Scrape it off where it's even. Dump that in there. Then you're gonna get a cup of milk. I love this little antique um, measuring thing. My mom bought this for me when we were out antique store, um, going to some antique stores um, probably a couple months ago. She loves antique stores. I do. My mama was spoiling me that weekend. So add a cup of milk. I've already got my half a teaspoon of salt, so I'm gonna throw that in there. I don't know why you need salt in pancakes, but they're still and then good. You can put this in a blend you can put this in a blender if you want. I don't personally like to do it in a in a mixer because I don't feel like it gets it as chopped up. I like to use um, just this hand blender just because it's quick and easy. You notice we didn't put the butter in there. The butter is gonna go in your casserole dish. So I put this on two and we blend this all up. So that's all done. I like to use this blender just because it's just, this is just less cleanup than a big blender to me. So take a casserole dish, like a nine by 13 of some sort like that. You're gonna put your two tablespoons of butter in there. I just kinda, Wash it around. I tilt my bowl until it's just kinda everywhere. E. I'm too impatient. All right, so now you're gonna take this and you're gonna, just gonna pour it in there. Right? That looks and that's it. Okay. That doesn't look so really I'm gonna, good. me and Colin's gonna go ahead and mix up a second one because my family will eat two of these. Sometimes on a rare day, they might eat three. You need to preheat your oven before you start mixing this up at 400 degrees. So if you hadn't already, do that first. All right, so we're gonna get that second one mixed up and we'll be right back when we put them in the oven. Hello. Mm. Ow.
open the oven up and put it on this rack though. Yeah, we'll put one one on the other. No, we'll, we can put the other one on top, so. We're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. Well, that looks better if it's like that. 20 minutes and you are all done. You can have dinner and it's so easy. So literally, um, probably, you if you had all the stuff, you could probably mix this up and have it ready in 25 or 30 minutes. Um, and it is always gone, there's no leftovers. When we've had leftovers before, if I've made three at a time, you can put them in a um, dish and put them in the refrigerator and warm them up the next day. They're not as good as they are fresh, but they are good. Um, so we'll bring you back, show you what it looks like. All right, so 20 minutes is up. I left them in there a few more minutes just to brown a little bit on top. I know it looks crazy. We're gonna set it right over here. Get the second one out. <clears throat> it here. You know what we're gonna do? So you put a little bit of powder sugar. I use this little bitty sifter. This is actually a little sifter. And then you just go right on top. You don't have to do this, but it just adds a little bit of sweetness. Kids always like it. They like that extra, of course, at the more so than others. <laughs> and that's it. I'll show you how we enjoy it in just a few minutes. And that is how easy a German pancake is. So. Get the stuff, mix one up today, have an easy, easy dinner. Already we've got one almost gone. Effie, like, Effie doesn't like the edges. I like some of the crispy edges. But um, but it is the consistency sort of of a... It's delicious. <laughs> they're saying it's delicious, you can see. It's kind of thin like that, it's just like, oh. So good, so, so good. So you're running late, trying to get back on track, do German pancakes. Recipes in the description below. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and follow us along. I've been lazy this week because we got kids back to school and it's just been crazy. So I gotta put a video out tonight and this one will be soon to follow. Y'all have a great day.